Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful October day here in Minnesota. We're going to take the Hobie out today and try to catch a few smallies. Now if you look real close, you'll notice something is missing. Something that should be right here and maybe right there. Yeah, I did something kind of dumb today. I drove all the way out here. As soon as I got to the parking lot here at the boat launch, I realized I forgot my fishing rods. I was half tempted to just head out. I plan on doing some chart plotting with my Helix 5 out here today, just getting ready for ice fishing season. I wanna make some good detailed maps of a couple spots I like to fish out here. But we've got a winter storm moving in tonight. It'll be hitting us the next couple of days. So I've got a feeling those fish are gonna be biting. So I peeled out of here. Luckily the closest town has a Walmart, which is exactly where I went. And I picked up an Ozark Trail OTX bait cast rod and reel combo. So I had to pay 65 bucks plus tax for this bad boy, which is probably about what I would have spent on gas driving back home for my other rods. But I will say for 65 bucks, I mean, it feels pretty nice. Dare I say it's almost comparable to the $400 combo that I'd typically use out here for smallies. Yeah, the Reel is nice and smooth. The whole setup is pretty light. And I mean, the rod is decent too. It's a six foot eight medium action rod. It says lure weight three sixteenth to five eighth ounce and then six to 12 pound for line weight. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty similar to the other six foot eight Bass X rod that I'd normally use out here for tossing jigs around this time of year. So we'll see how that $65 Ozark Trail combo stacks up. I will have to toss some line on there. I grabbed a spool of 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick. I wanted to use the same line as I use on my other combo just to see how they really compare. So that's the game plan. I'm gonna toss some line on that guy. We'll hop in the Hobie, go pedal around and see if we can hook into some smallies. Well, I've spent about the first hour just pedaling around, making some maps with my fish finder here. I wanted to map out a couple of the spots closer to where I launched from. Because I tend to ice fish those spots quite a bit. Oh, I just threw that jig up there and instantly I got smashed here. <laughs> There's a decent little smallie. Well, first fish with the new rod and reel combo. Let's say it handled it pretty well. Decent little smallie hanging out up here by the island. And I'm tossing around a Z-Man Minnows out here again today. I've got him on a 3 16 ounce Kitek round head jig. Yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with this thing. I mean, there's something that rattles around. I think it's that clicker button rattles around a little bit when you go to cast it, but I mean, it casts pretty decent. I had to mess around with the brakes a little bit to get them set up right. I've got them set to about five and a half right now. But all in all for 65 bucks, I mean, it's a pretty decent combo. It doesn't cast quite as far as my Daiwa Zillion on my Bass X rod, but comparing a $65 combo to about a $400 combo, I mean, there's not much comparison there. <laughs> but the Ozark trail combo is holding its own. I kind of feel that braid starting to jump off a little bit right when I cast, but I haven't bird's nested it quite yet. I'm sure I will <laughs> at some point here.
But we'll fish our way around the island and see if there's anybody else besides that one little smallie. that spool a little bit, casting it right into the wind. But I'm pretty happy with this combo. Oh, there's another fish right there. Don't get me wrong, ideally I wouldn't have forgotten my other setup, but... <laughs> doing the job just fine out here. Another little guy. Probably the twin of that first one I caught. Well, I found a couple little smallies back there at the island. Got on the board at least. Just pedaling over here to this point. I'm kind of hitting all the same spots I hit out here the other day. I'm sure it's real exciting for <laughs> some of you guys that watch all my videos, but this time of year, I mean, I could probably count on one hand the number of days I'll be able to get out in the kayak again. So with limited time, I like to spend it wisely. Fishing spots, I know I've got a pretty good chance at having some success. Really, I'd like to find at least one big smolly to put this Ozark Trail combo to the test. There we go. There's something. This might be a little bit nicer than those ones I caught at the island. We'll see. Oh, it's a pike. It's a slimy pike. At least I got him hooked in a good spot. I don't think this one's going to take my jig. Might have to retie it, but... At least I get to keep it. Well, that's not a bad pike. Let's see how bad he mangled my line here. I don't think he did at all. I had him hooked in a good spot where his teeth didn't rub my line. getting cold. Oh, quick, quick, before I drift past my spot here, we'll get a cast off toward the point of those weeds. There's one. All right, be a bass. Oh, it was a bass. I saw him as he waved goodbye to me. I gotta throw it in reverse. I'm getting a little bit too close to my spot here. Yeah, I didn't find anything real, real big off this point the other day, but I did find a couple decent smallies. I mean, it's been almost a week since then, so you never know, the big ones could have moved in by now. That one I just lost looked like he was probably about a 16, 17 incher. something extra there. Get off of my jig. Oh, no, I'm gonna twist it all up. Didn't even get all the weeds off there.
this is a bass. It might be a better one. Oh, he's got kind of little head shakes. Yeah, it's just a little guy. Maybe a bit bigger than the ones that we found over there at the island. It's actually not a half bad fish. Chunky little fella on that Z-Man minnow. Nice thick smolly. Looks just like one of the ones I caught over here the other day. Well, this wind is starting to pick up on me a little bit. I'm hoping it doesn't get a whole lot worse. I am kind of hurrying down to this end. I really want to map a couple spots down here before I call it quits, but we'll see if the wind gets a whole lot worse might not be doing a whole lot more fishing today. I know that weather system was supposed to hit uh, about three hours from now, so I don't know, it might start getting windy before the nasty weather actually shows up. Try this spot, see if there's any bass hanging out. Oh, there's something. I don't know if this is a bass or a pike. It feels decent though, whatever it is. Oh, he's come up like a bass would. Oh yeah, that's a decent smallie. Found any real, real big ones today, but I've got a few like that. I mean, that's not a bad fish at all. Nice, chunky, I don't know, 16, 17 inch fish. Enough to put up a decent little fight. And that Ozark rod, Ozark trail rod seems to handle them just fine so far. So I I can finally get a 20 incher out here today to really put this thing to the test, but it's been a little bit of a struggle, honestly. I was hoping those fish would just be going crazy with the storm we have moving in in a few hours. Wonder if that's why the wind is starting to pick up. Yeah, I've got about two hours until sunset. That storm's supposed to hit about an hour after that, so. Hoping this wind doesn't get a whole lot worse because I don't think it's gonna let up before I get out of here. But I must say I'm really happy with how this rod reel combo has been performing. I mean, casting into the wind with the wind of my back. I mean, I haven't had any bird's nests Got some pretty good casting distance on this little 3 16 ounce jig. I mean, that's not a heavy jig. And it gets it out there. I mean, maybe not quite as far as my Daiwa Zillion and my six foot eight Bass X rod would, but I mean, it's pretty close. It's probably within a couple feet. So I am honestly pretty impressed with this $65 Ozark Trail combo. I mean, it feels like a decent rod. The one thing I wish was a little bit better were the guides. I mean, they're a little bit cheap feeling, but the blank itself is nice. I really like the grips. It's kind of got the contour line pattern on there. I mean, they're a little bit thicker than my 
bass axe rods, which honestly I kind of like. It's a little bit more to hold on to, especially this time of year. I mean, it's getting cold. I had to dig my gloves out for a little bit. It gets tough to grip a skinny rod handle when your hands start getting real cold. But I am pretty happy with this setup. I'll be holding on to this one. Maybe I'll make it my jerk bait rod because a lot of times I'm out here fishing my other combo that's really similar to this one. And I mean, I kind of like it for both the jerk bait and the jig, and I don't want to be switching back and forth having to retie my leader every few times I retie the lure. So I'll probably hang on to this setup and maybe use it for my jerk bait rod. Yeah, I do kind of want to map this spot out real good before this wind picks up. So I'll give it a few more casts and then I'm going to pedal a grid through here. That's what I've been spending about half my time on today. I don't know if I want to spend a whole lot of time at this spot. Maybe I do. I was going to say, I didn't really find much here the last time I fished out here, but this is a nice fish. Oh yeah, I guess it's, oh yeah. That's a nice molly. That's the one I was looking for. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that is a beast. Just a beauty of a fish. We're gonna get a length on that one. That one's gotta be pushing 20. Might be the 20 inch I was looking for. <gasps> Nose up against that end. He is just over the 20 inch mark. Oh, he's trying to jump off me here. Come here, bud. Let me grab your lip. Get a quick look at you. Man, that is just a beauty of a fish. I will see you later. All right. Well, that's the one I was looking for. The Ozark Trail combo handled it like a champ. Well, maybe we will have to fish this spot a little bit harder. <laughs> I mean, I spent 20, 30 minutes fishing through this structure here. I mean, we've got a little hump that extends out off this point, some scattered boulders out here. So it's definitely a fishy spot, but usually I find them off this spot a little bit later in the fall once they're kind of moving off the weeds. There's not a whole lot of weed growth in here, I don't think. There's another fish though. Another nice one. Oh yeah, they're in here today. Not quite as big as that last one, but it's probably the second biggest fish of the day. Kind of a scrappy looking guy there. Let's get him back in the water so I can get my jig back in the water. There's one. Oh yeah. They are on this spot today.
There we go. Well, I think we figured out where the bigger fish are hanging out today. Off this point. <laughs> yeah, it's the third nice one I've caught over here. Chunky little guy. It's just that time of day where they're starting to bite. What time is it? 4.23 according to my fish finder. I should double check, make sure that's accurate because I've been going by that clock all day. <laughs> Probably I know it's off by an hour or two. No, nope, it's right. Just had to check because I know the moon rises at about five o'clock today so we should be getting into that peak time that might be why these fish are really starting to bite or the fact that that storm is moving in in a couple hours just going to try to grid this piece of structure off this point here by kind of fishing my way back and forth past it if I can. There's something. Oh, that's a decent one. I thought he was just a little guy, but he was swimming right back at me. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Well, this spot has by far yielded the most action out here today. It's a little bit more of a deeper spot. It's really less weeds and more rocks out here. Yeah, that's a beauty of a smallie right there. hoping for one more thump here and then I think it's gonna be time to call it quits for the day that wind is starting to pick up I'm starting to get rained on I can handle being out here in mid 40s temps a little bit of wind but add getting rained on to the mix I have no interest in being out here soaking wet in the cold So I think we're going to call it a wrap on that one. Not a bad fish to end the day on. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here before the weather gets any worse. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's trip. I'm just pedaling my way back over to the launch. The rain quit at least, but I've only got 20, 30 minutes until sunset. I'm gonna get out of here before the weather takes a turn for the worse. It's a fun day out here though. Definitely glad I came out. It's kind of a slow start when I got out here and I had to work to find those bigger fish, but it was well worth it. That last point I hit paid off with a 20 inch smallie. A couple other really nice ones too. So awesome, awesome day of fall fishing really can be a struggle this time of year finding them so anytime I can come out here in the fall and put a 20 incher in the net it's a pretty good day of fishing really glad I stopped by Walmart after I left my rods at home today too and picked up that $65 Ozark Trail OTX casting combo I mean honestly for 65 bucks that's a pretty nice setup 
I mean, compared to my six foot eight bass X rod with the Daiwa zillion reel, I mean, I felt like I was fishing that other combo. I mean, the sensitivity is right on par. It's maybe not quite as good as the Bass X, but it's really close. I mean, the weight is about the same. This one's maybe just a tad heavier, but I mean, fishing it, if I didn't look down and actually look at that rod and reel, I would have never known any difference. Fish just like my $400 combo. Yeah, it cast really well too. Casting distance was about the same, even firing that light jig into the wind. Never had one bird's nest with that reel today. So I'm impressed. Be a great setup for light jigs, maybe wacky worms. It'd probably be a great jerkbait rod. That's what I think I'll hold on to it and mostly use this one for. Although I would like to take it out on the river next year and <laughs> just abuse the crap out of it for a couple of days. See how it handles the river smalley abuse of tossing topwater or jigs all day long. Yeah, if any of you are looking for a cheap combo for tossing light jigs, jerk baits, something like that, or if you do what I did and <laughs> forget your rods and reels at home, that $65 Ozark Trail casting combo from Walmart may just fit the bill. Hey, it worked great for me out here today. Caught some nice fish. Never gave me any problems. I am pretty happy with that purchase. Well, that's going to do it for this one. I'm just going to pedal my way over to the launch and get out of here for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.